And now a look at the 2024 Olympic Games in Paris. Lots of kids dream of being an Olympian, right? But very few actually get to live that dream out. Orland Park gymnast Avita Grishkenis is preparing for her second trip to the Games. She was one of those little kids who thought about this her whole life. And she told me yesterday it is a dream almost 20 years in the making. Rhythmic gymnastics is a blend of creativity and athleticism. The carpet becomes a canvas filled with beautiful expression and physical finesse. The mix of strength and style appealed to Avita Grishkenis from the moment it first appeared on her TV at just four years old. So there's a girl there with the ribbon. I'm like, Mom, I want to do this. Her mom took her to a gym with balance beams and rings, but Avita knew what she wanted. At four, I take one look around the gym and I go, this is the wrong gymnastics, and I refuse to do anything. And so then she was like, well, I guess I have to take her to Rhythmic. The right gymnastics for Avita meant early mornings and long trips for her parents. But that was nothing new. Before they moved to the U.S., both were elite athletes in Lithuania. I think it really instilled a mentality in me of make it work. Work that meant sacrifices for her dad and mom. I remember we had... Um, you know, she'd find the, the last scraps of money to pay for gas to come here. But work that has led to dozens of awards, world travel, and now two Olympic Games for Avita. Are you still in love with this as much as you were when you were a kid? I think even more. Love propels Grishkenis through success and failure, the endless travel, and training for her first Olympics in the depths of COVID. I was training outside, on the grass, um, in the basement, like we were doing the most that we could do before we were able to come back in the gym. Tokyo would be the dream realized. All of the work Christmas. worth it. I just remember feeling this overwhelming amount of like, I did it, I made it, I'm here. And even when the flame went out on those games, another burned bright inside of her. So I remember seeing the French flag come up and looking at it and just going, I have to stay. I have to, like, I'm staying, that's it. And uh, I didn't know how at that time. I didn't know what was going to happen, but I just knew that I had to, I had more in me. Now 23, she's doing more than ever, training for Paris while going to college full-time at Columbia in New York. I schedule things basically by the minute. In May, her family will watch her graduate. Then three months later, watch her at an Olympics in person for the first time. What will it mean to have them in the stands in Paris? kind of everything, honestly. From the living room carpet to the Olympic carpet, a journey lifted by love and hard work from people all around her. The perseverance and tenacity that it takes and the way that it shapes my character just is something that sticks to me and just keeps me coming back for more. I'm hurting just, <laughs> just watching A lot her. of people at home are saying how Amazing. She She's quite a talent and, and beautiful. It's a, such a beautiful sport. Especially when you see it up close and watching her train. It, it's phenomenal to see how something, even though it doesn't move very quickly, to see how challenging it is and the timing of everything. It was wonderful sitting down with Avita. Big thanks for her time. We I'm looking forward be. to getting with all of our local athletes and seeing what motivates them and got them to where, where they are oh, today. We're going to be rooting for her. Yeah. Way to go, Avita. Good stuff.